out in this great city of ours. What we can do as a city. We've got a lot of speakers here this afternoon, people who have uh, voluntarily given up their time to come and uh, join us today. Uh, and I'll introduce each one of them as, as just before they start. Just by way of introduction though, can I say that you are today making history, but we're also making the future. That's important to the city like Derby, because just over there on uh, my right hand side, your left hand side, is the Silk Mill, which was the site in 1833 of the first ever industrial lockout in this country. Actually predates the Tolkien Martyrs. In 1871, the railways came to Derby, the railway building works came to Derby. And I think the message that we're going to give today, all of us, is that that history is not going to go away. Our first, our first speaker today is Colin Walton, who's the chairman of Bombardier in the UK. Colin. I mean, we really are and really thank you to them. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, as many of you know, um, I am uh, uh, the chairman of Bombardier Transportation now, but I used to be, and uh, still remember it fondly, uh, being an apprentice. My father uh, worked for the railway, I was apprentice on the railway, my daughter worked for Bombardier uh, and you know, it's really important to me that my grandchildren have the opportunity to work for Bombardier here in Derby. So I'm particularly pleased to see so many children here today and really uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll have a great day out and it's their future though that we're fighting for. Uh, the entire management team of Bombardier is here um, and it's rare, I, I think, in, in probably what people would expect, the full management team walking out with its employees, but that's how strongly we feel. And I just want you all to know that we still believe, we still believe we have the best product, we have the best product for Tensley. It's designed and it's built here in Derby and we will continue that and that's our full intention as a management team to fight on to get this decision changed. Thank you. We're not here today, any of us, to attack this decision. We're here to get it changed. And we want it changed because it's the wrong decision for Derby, but it's the wrong decision for Britain as well. I want to welcome the fact that on this march and in this campaign, we have the full-hearted support. We have other, other MPs, Conservative and Labour, in the audience. We have the City Council, we have Labour and Tory councillors here, right across this county, not just this city. Everybody is united in thinking this is an outrageous decision that should not hold. The government says it's about value for money. It might be about price, but it's not about value. And as we look, it's hard to get answers, but the more we look at how this decision was made, the more clear it becomes that it's about financial engineering and not about rail engineering. The government says this was a very bad process that led to the decision. All right, then change it. And change it now. There are this reason, that reason, the other excuse. But just think about where we are. Is this a failing industry? No. Is this a failing company? No. Across the world, 
Bombardier wins orders against Siemens in open, fair, global competition. It's here they don't. And that's because here we haven't had a fair competition and that's what we're calling on the government to change.